Hello friends, welcome to the next session. In this session, we are going to convert deterministic finite automata to my regular grammars or linear grammars. So let's understand the procedure followed by two problems on the same. So let's get started. So friends, if you observe, when I say I want to convert a deterministic finite automata to a regular grammar, we know that a state diagram is going to be converted into productions. And for that, we have only two simple rules for it. Rather, this topic is going to be very light for you. And frankly speaking, you will understand the topic as you solve the problem. Only looking at the rules, we are not going to understand the things that fastly as we are going to understand it with the help of problems. So if we observe over here, let's first focus the procedure. The first rule over here says where something is not belonging to the final state. And the second thing over says that something is belonging to the final state. That something is nothing but the state. So if a state QJ is belonging to the final state or if it is not belonging to final state, depending on that, I will be having two rules. So my first rule says that my production is going to be AI giving me AAJ if I have QI on receiving input symbol A going to state QJ where QJ is not the final state. And the second rule says AI gives me AAJ and additional production AI gives me epsilon are going to be the production rules if QI on receiving the input A goes to QJ and QJ is the final state. So let's come to the problem and immediately understand the working of these rules. So now if we observe the problem, the problem over here says construct the regular grammar for the given DFA. Fine. So jotting down the solution, I say my grammar equivalent to the given DFA will be G is equal to V, T, P and S where I am going to again rename the variables as A0 and A1. So my variables are going to be A0 and A1. Now what are the A0 and A1? The same thing as we did in GNF. My A0 is nothing but my Q0 and A1 is my Q1. You can also keep it as Q0 and Q1, but it looks very weird when you are going to write it in the form of production rules. Therefore, we are replacing it by A0, A1, A2, A3 and so on. So with this, we know that if you are going to replace it, the variable names are going to be A0, A1 and the terminals which I see are simply A and B. And my start state over here, since Q0 is the starting state, my start state over here is going to be Q0, which is going to be denoted by A0. Now, let us look at my rules. If you observe my rule 2, my rule 2 over here basically says when QJ is belonging to the final state. And similarly, if you observe rule 1, which says QJ is not belonging to the final state. So what I mean to say over here is, in my DFA, which is given to us, my A0 is not the final state, but my A1 is the final state. So in that case, my QJ for A0 will be non-final and my QJ for A1 will be final. So let us consider the rule 1. And for rule 1, we are considering my state A0. So if you observe over here, what it says, if it is not belonging to the final state and if I have a transition QI on A goes to QJ, then the production will be AI gives me AAJ. What I mean by that is, I see over here that A0, of course this will be called as A0 now and that will be called as A1. I say that my A0 on receiving an input symbol A goes back to A0, right? And this is exactly the production that we are going to write. Similarly, if I observe the same thing for this production B, I say that A0 
on receiving the input symbol B goes to state A1 but since my A1 is a final state therefore we say it is also going to give me a single B as the output. Why? Because of rule 2. So if you observe over here that if something is going to final state as per rule 2 if something is going to the final state then we are going to write AI gives me AAJ as well as AI gives me epsilon. Now over here we are replacing this epsilon by B because it is a valid input. If we do not have any input only in that case it will be replaced by epsilon. To be more precise in almost all the cases we do have an input symbol. It is always going to be a finite terminal name. So going ahead coming to my state a1 my a1 i observe that a1 on receiving the input symbol a comes back to a1 and since a1 is the final state it will also output a small a similarly the same thing happens with b a1 on receiving the input symbol b comes to a1 at the same time since it is the final state it will also output b so what have we done over here what we have done over here is these are nothing but my production rules for this particular grammar and my dfa is converted to my regular grammar as simple as that let's consider one more problem and try to understand the concept so now to convert this particular dfa to my regular grammar the first step is going to be renaming it as a0 a1 a2 and so on now we know what is the importance of renaming else my state productions could be q0 arrow a q1 and that is going to look very weird so only for that sake we are relabeling it so now i say let's rename the variables let me do that quickly so i have it labeled as a1 a2 a3 a4 respectively so let us start with the production rules now without wasting time on writing the steps again the steps of course have to be written in the exam but i am omitting it because i have already shown you what it is going to be in my first problem so now i see my a1 on receiving the input symbol b is going to a2 and a2 is not the final state so i do not repeat the b similarly if I observe A1 again, my A1 on receiving input symbol A is going to A3 and A3 is also not the final state so we are not repeating it. Coming down to A2, my A2 on receiving B is going to A4 and since A4 is the final state, I will be repeating a B over here. The next production of Q2 that is A2. My A2 on receiving input symbol A is going to A3 and A3 is not the final state. So that completes my A2 over there. The last production which is non-final, my A3 on receiving a A goes to A4 and therefore a single A will be generated because A4 is a final state. And followed by Q3 that is A3 on receiving a A goes to A2. And that's it. The last production that is A4. Now A4 on A goes to A4. A4 on B goes to A4. And since it is a final state, it will be having individual transitions. Therefore, I say A4 on A goes to A4 and a single A will be generated. A4 on B goes to A4 and a single B will be generated. And those are the production rules. That's how simple it is to get it converted. So this is the procedure to convert a DFA to regular grammar. See you in the next session. Thank you.